Hello guys, it's Luca and I'm bringing you another episode of MLB with Luca and this time I'm bringing you some more pitching gameplay. I didn't want to play with Nox and I'm sorry because of that. I'm just lazy. I'm just lazy. Yeah, and it's 2 a.m. now and that's why I need to be a little bit more quiet because my father is sleeping already because it is 2 a.m. and I'm the only one awake. Oh, I'm the only one in the house beside my father. So that's my. So, okay, uh, this video. I didn't set a really good topic for this video, I wrote down like two A5 pages, A5 format pages, and yeah, there's a lot of things I want to talk <laughs> actually there's only three topics I want to talk to you about guys, or four, but uh, yeah, let's get down to business, so I don't know if I should comment anything on the gameplay, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm comment when, I'll comment when I see something good, okay, so I don't know if you got the info from anybody else but me so yeah Skyrim MMO is announced has been announced and it will be called Elder Scrolls Online and damn I am so excited for that game it's because like I've played Morrowind I've never actually played through Morrowind because of yeah I got stuck on the first mission yes yes I know it's pathetic so uh, yeah uh, second off, I played Oblivion, I got stuck on the second mission. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I just never, when I was younger, I just never played games to the end. I, I kind of had the... I quit. I quit a lot of games in the middle of the playthrough, but now I'm not doing that. Every game, from since like 07, every game I have touched, every game I have installed on my computer, I have 100 percent of it. I mean, I didn't collect the, uh, the collectibles and shit like that, but I mostly did. I did the main quest and like half of the side quests, except except for Saboteur. Saboteur, yeah, that's one of the games that I just ah, uh, I downloaded it like five times. Yeah, Arr! to all of you guys who are pirates like me, yeah, I downloaded it like five times, and every time I download it, I play for an hour, and then it gets boring as hell. It's like a yeah, it just gets boring. Look at this. Yeah. Just what a line drive. I don't know if you caught it. That one. No. It went on, off the fence. And he got a triple, I think. Yeah. No, a double. That, that, that happens when you get a bad gesture and zero power on the change up, up in the zone. And, oh, I'm, like, I'm like he didn't hit a home run there. Yeah, so the game will be produced by... Zeni Mai, Zeni Mai Studios, which is uh, which were founded by the partners of Bethesda, and yeah, uh, there's not a lot of info yet, but as I said for the DLC, there will be a lot more info for us at the E3. So yeah, stay re uh, st wow. stay ready. No, uh, wait for that before you start freaking out about the game. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm. I just I don't know if this game will be the the worst game in the Elder Scrolls series or the best game. Just you see, Elder Scrolls has a very unique playstyle, and look at that change up on the outside part of the plate. That's just great place to put your change up on the outside part of the plate after you pounded the inside part of the plate with fastball. Okay, back on track. So yeah, uh, I don't know if. if if anybody's gonna like this game, just because uh, Skyrim, Oblivion, Morven, they they all have this type of realistic type of gameplay. You cannot just aim at an opponent and hack at him in like World of Warcraft and things like that. So I don't know how this is gonna work. I really have no idea if this even go if that is even gonna work. I don't know how they're gonna do it. There, there's this new game. Uh, let me just find. I, I got it written here. A game of where did I put that? War of, War of Roses, yeah, sorry for that. That was me turning my pages. War of Roses is a new game produced by the... Fuck you, where the fuck are you? Oh. Ah, sorry, wait a second. War of Roses is pro produced by some studio, doesn't matter. And yeah, uh, 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 produced by Parad Paradox Studio. And it's a, it's a 14th century game, I think. 10th century game, so it doesn't matter. So it's a medieval game where you fight with swords and things like that, and it's very realistic. So I think they're gonna do something like that. Google it, YouTube, search it, 
a game of roses, war of roses, I don't know what I just said. So I don't know how's that gonna work, but I think it's gonna be a great game. I think it's really gonna be a great game. Uh, and yeah, this is just a bad commentary. This is just a really bad commentary and I apologize for that. So next off, I got a new chair, yeah, yeah, and it's all bouncy and shit, it's great, and I can finally lay back, and you hear me now laying back, and you probably didn't hear anything I said right now, yeah, I can finally relax, my last chair, the, the, the thing where you lay back on, the back seat, if you want, <laughs> the back seat, yeah, it was broken, it was just broken, I, and I couldn't rest my back, on it and I always had back pain if I didn't like get up every ha half an hour and stretch a little bit so yeah that's not fixed I can now play the computer to the end of time yeah <laughs> that, that's just not good I'm so gonna get fat in this chair I mean I've gotten feral fat already and I am fat but I'm so gonna get so much fatter in this chair that is not good well is there a better way of getting fat than playing games and doing commentaries and posting it on YouTube. I think not, so don't judge me. Mm. And one other thing, I am experimenting with a program called... Uh, how are you called? Where? Wait. Called... Oh my god, now I can find it. Where, where are you? Called... Called... Uh, Stickman and Elemento. I don't... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a program for doing simple animations, for doing stick figure animation and things like that. But you can, I, I can use it for making entrance for for my videos. But I have no experience with that. A few years, well, I have some experience. A few years ago, like <coughs> five or six years ago, I made a couple of stick 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 man stick figure fight videos, but they were all they were bad, and it took me like. I, I don't know, a few days of just pure work on computer to make a two minute video. And I don't, I'm not gonna make a two minute video for my intro, but I'm, it's gonna take a lot more for me to make the intro just because this is a whole different program. It's, it's a lot dif difficulter, it's a lot harder to make a stick uh, intro into videos than to make a simple stick and video with people fighting in Dragon Ball Z style. Yeah, I love anime. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, I love, I simply love anime. Look at this, I think I'm gonna get hit. No, he didn't swing at that. Oh, that's strange. So yeah, uh, I was thinking about making like two parts of a shield coming from both sides of the screen and meeting in the middle and making one big nice shield with my logo on it, which is also in production and work in progress. And <laughs> I, got, I got so much work in progress this day this week yeah I've been late with my minecraft videos just because I don't know what to do anymore I really don't know what to do guys please put something in the comments section telling me what to do I don't know what to do the technic pack is not fun anymore I did everything you can I mean I didn't didn't do everything you can do I tape I made videos for almost anything everything funny you can do like from philosopher stones to equivalent and exchange or something like that and yeah mm, so what I was saying yeah the shield so the shield the two parts of the shield meet in the middle and make one nice shield with my logo on it and then a baseball bat and a automatic rifle an LMG or an assault rifle come <laughs> both parts of the shield you know like like every other logo but yeah it's not very original but I think it's gonna be a great idea. I had some other idea of a ball jumping around the screen randomly and then coming in the middle and getting sliced in half and my logo just puff, puffing out of mid, mid, mid air. But I dropped it because that seemed too long of a project for me to make a beginner, not a beginner, an amateur in making videos like that. So, uh, yeah, and I don't know if I'm, if I'm even gonna do that. Just, it's a really big project. It would take me a long, long while just to do something like that. Just do simple animation. It would take me a long, long while, and I do. I, I want to do it perfectly. I want to do it fade in, fade back, quick, fast, with all the sparks when the sh shields meet, and the sparks and uh, gun gun casings falling out of the gun when it shoots. 
the bed getting splintered when it entered the shield and things like that you know i, I want to make it perfect for you guys i try very hard this video and, and yeah that's one thing that annoys me so much there are people on youtube i don't know how the fuck do they how, how do they do these things so one guy taped with his goddamn phone made it taped a glitch on modern warfare 3 he's got 150 subscribers so yes 150 subscribers for only one video taped with a fucking phone and I, that that's just not fair i try very hard to make quality videos for you guys and i i know my voice isn't the great greatest my english isn't the greatest my gameplay isn't the greatest but i'm i'm trying very hard and look at this guy's move he picks it up on a backhand and then throws the first he could have if he just forehand that ball and through the second it would have been a double play a sure double play so yeah that's just not fair i really try really hard he's got one, one video up i'm on 56 56 and yeah that, that that's just not fair i'm just disappointed by how the, this this youtube works if you want to get famous on youtube you just got gotta have great connections you just need to know people like I, I don't know, you need to get, if you want to be famous for, for Battlefield, you need to get um, to know people like Ipern, Ipern for, for Hire, uh, I don't know, Nick Banyan, uh, Epona, Ma Mangal FPS, and people like that. And if you want to get famous in Minecraft, for with Minecraft videos, you need, to, I don't know, to get Pyro Puncher, Captain Sparkles, and uh, Blue Expos, I don't know, yeah, I'm in the Yogg's cast. Uh, and yeah, there is no other way there's not a lot of people getting famous i mean not famous i don't want to get famous i don't care about being famous i just want people that watch me and 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 appreciate my videos even though i do this for my own pleasure it would be it's it lights up my day when i see there's a new like on my video a comment or that 20 people watch my video that, that, that just makes me so happy and thank you guys for that again I think I mentioned this every video. Thank you for my for supporting my channel, for supporting me, and yeah, keep doing that. And uh, I will be uploading a lot more videos and for a lot more years and months to come. So yeah, I was thinking about getting a guest, a guest commentator on my show, on one of my shows. And yeah, for now I think it's only possible to get a guest commentator on uh, Minecraft because that's the only game. The only original game I own, and I don't really own. My friend actually owns. I just borrowed his account, which he, because he doesn't play on that account anymore. And yeah, that's the only play, the only game cur I have currently installed on my computer, other than uh, I have here Call of Duty World of World at War that I borrowed from my friend, played two times, and like, nah, that just sucks. And yeah, mm, the only game I can play in multiplayer at the moment is Minecrafts, but <laughs> I don't know who I would call. I want, I really want to do, do a dual commentary with Nick, Nick Banyan. He's my favorite YouTuber as is mentioned in my YouTube channel. But yeah, I've made a lot of contact with him. We talked, I, we didn't talk about anything private. We only talked about strict business, like about his videos, about my videos. He gave me a lot of tips on how to make videos. He approves of my videos, of my quality of my videos. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't. Uh, that just sounded so bad. If he, uh, Nick, if you're watching this, if you ever watch this, please don't think I'm lying. I just wanted to say that uh, he approved. He told me that my my quality is great, my video quality is great, and now finally my screen is not stretched out. So yeah, that's the only thing I want to say. So. I don't know, Pyro Puncher? No way. I mean, we did talk just a little bit. I asked him uh, how old he is, where does he live, and things like that, just because I'm curious about things like that. And yeah, he did answer, but we never get into like, hi, how are you? What's up? Like, friends area, so yeah. Uh, Ca Ca Captain Sparkles? Nah, no way. He's he's far too famous. He, he's reached a million views. God damn it, that's a lot. That's really a lot. A million views. Imagine that. Like, at least, he's got at least 200 people watching him every single day, every single video. That, that just, like, I would be so nervous. I would make 10 commentaries in a day and then edit him out and make a perfect commentary. Perfect. 
maybe, maybe I should really do that. Like make a perfect commentary. What do you say? Should I make a perfect commentary? Should I make a commentary where there is not a single second, not a okay, not, not a single second. There is not a single second of accidental silence, of awkward silence, and there is not a single stutter from me, and not a single bad pronounced uh, sentence like this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, should I do that? If you think I should do that, put a comment in the description or like the video. I will know what you want. And yeah. So. What I was saying about guests in my show, I don't think that will be possible just because, first of all, I'm not a famous person on YouTube. I don't know anybody on YouTube. I know this one guy, his name is, uh, oh, what the fuck is his name? I'm gonna put a link of his uh, channel in the description bar just because I can't remember his name at this moment because, as I mentioned earlier, it is 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm very tired. And I'm just gonna watch a little bit more. Uh, of more of some game on MLB TV and then I'm gonna go to sleep yeah and uh, uh, I don't know anybody on YouTube I don't know any any one of those famous quotation signs fa very famous people that post videos on YouTube so I don't think it's gonna happen anywhere soon at l I maybe get like 10,000 subscribers in one day and then if that happens I'm probably gonna do a dual commentary with some of those guys that I previously mentioned but yeah until that happens I'm sorry guys but you're just gonna hear my stupid and stupid and boring voice all over again until you decide you're not gonna do it anymore so I run out of topics to talk to you about mm, so what should I talk about the gameplay so yeah I want to make this I first wanted to make this video on how to win a game so I'm gonna just give you some few quick tips on how to win a game, I get it, here. Uh, don't nibble around the corners in your strike zone, don't just throw pitches, oh wait, I'm out of video footage already, how the fuck? Is this like, oh this is the last inning I played. Yeah, and just a heads up on this game, I did not win this game, I know I was leading and yeah, that, that run around base, that was running on first base, ended up me losing there. So if you like this video, please rate, comment and subscribe. Keep it steady and carry on, bitches.